Okay, the next one, oh, tonight's fun event, Police Department Promotions, right on time. <coughs> the board will consider, and I want to make sure consider, uh, uh, promoting <laughs> Sergeant Joseph Bennett and Sergeant John Porter as new lieutenants of the Hockenden Police Department. Chief, welcome. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <laughs> exactly. So, who's going to introduce them? <laughs> Gentlemen? <laughs> this is Mr. Kamalo. <laughs> Chief. I know. Oh, okay. uh, my plan was to uh, do a little introduction, uh, explain the process we went through, and then move on by uh, presenting one at a time for you to grill. Right? I know. <laughs> It's an exciting day for the uh, Hockenden Police Department. This is the first time in the history of the department that we have two candidates up for the rank of lieutenant. Uh, the first position was recently created uh, as uh, we looked at the police department and saw the needs. Uh, the second one is a replacement for the uh, imminent retirement of Lieutenant Chuck Wallace, who is sitting over there. Uh, he's not gone yet, but uh, he's still got a, a good month with him. But I would like to take the time and recognize Lieutenant Wallace, who, for the last 30 years, has displayed dedication to excellence and public service for the town of Hopkinton. Whether working with town officials, fellow officers, town residents, and yes, even prisoners, <laughs> regardless of the hat he worn, throughout his career, he has always treated everyone with the utmost dignity and respect. Leading by example, he has mentored many officers through his career and tonight's promotion of these two is a perfect example of it. With that being said, I would like to thank Lieutenant Walsh for his service to the town of Hopkinton and the Hopkinton Police Department. As uh, part of the process, uh, we formed an oral board utilizing the recommendations of the Board of Selectmen. Serving on this board were HR Director Maria Casey, Owen Madden, Madden, excuse me, Madden from the Personnel Committee, uh, Chief Gary Chamberlain from the Sterling Police Department, and uh, one of our most experienced and knowledgeable police officers, Officer Tom Griffin. Uh, I want to thank all of you that took part. If, uh, if uh, I think just Maria is here tonight but taking time out of the busy schedule and doing an extremely professional job. Uh, they uh, conducted an uh, interview. They met uh, a couple days in advance and uh, took a lot of time into it. And um, they did an intensive interview. Uh, I was aware of the questions after, so I know how, how intensive it was, but I kind of stayed out of the whole picture. And we had four extremely ca qualified candidates. Uh, they were presented to me. Uh, the two that rose to the top, and those are the two in front of you here tonight. Uh, excuse me, Sergeant, not Lieutenant yet, Joe Bennett, and Sergeant John Porter. Uh, I certainly concurred with their recommendation uh, after working with both candidates and being knowledgeable their leadership style, training, education, and exper experience, as well as both their skill sets. And now I'm here to recommend uh, both to the board for promotion. Let me start with Sergeant Joe Bennett. Sergeant Joe Bennett came to the Hopkinton Police Department in 1993 after serving with the Southborough and Sutton Police Department. He has served patrol, detectives, and has been sergeant for 16 years. Currently, Sergeant Bennett is the court prosecutor in charge of detectives, communications, and the school resource officer. You can see why we need a, an extra lieutenant. <laughs> he also serves as the public information officer. Additionally, Sergeant Bennett is assigned as the grant administrator and has been awarded over $1 million in grant, uh, grant funds. These funding opportunities have brought funding for equipment, training, overtime, hiring of personnel, and most notably the school resource officer program, which was created under federal funding for the hiring of two police officers to backfill the assignments of the new SROs. Sergeant Bennett was instrumental in the creation of the consolidation of the public safety dispatch and worked on all facets of the implementation, including budgeting, hiring, training, and policy development. Sergeant Bennett is a member of the Boston Marathon executive planning team. His primary responsibility for the security plan and the deployment of internal and external resources. This collaboration brings hundreds of offices from 63 agencies, including seven states seven, and seven federal agencies. 
He holds a master's degree in criminal justice administration from Western New England College and has uh, received a high level of training, including Roger Williams University mid-level management course and has received the FBI LEADER Trilogy Award. Wow, a lot of stuff. <laughs> while, assigned as detective, uh, while, while assigned as a detective sergeant, he received uh, excuse me, recognition from the Massachusetts House of Representatives for his work on the Tri-County Drug Task Force. He has also been recognized by Mothers Against Drivers for his work in preventing drunk driving. In 2009, Sergeant Bennett received the Hopkinton Police Department Materia Service Award for actions taken when a man armed with a knife attempted to stab him. The man was taken into custody without serious injuries and to, to him or fellow officers. Sergeant Bennett is a dedicated professional with proven leadership, interpersonal and communicational skills. He is creative and continues to bring creative ideas to fruition through teamwork and results-based leadership. He has an ex extensive track record of progressive responsibility and accumulated accomplishments resulting in the improved departmental effectiveness and the enhanced quality of the life of the community. Sergeant Bennett. Hello. Greetings. Welcome. Exciting to be here tonight. Thank you for, for the opportunity. <clears throat> I wouldn't, I, I see all the people in the room and I know that if it wasn't for the support that I've gotten from my bosses and the leaders, if both formal and informal leaders, uh, I, this wouldn't be possible. I've been fortunate to be surrounded by many, many good people that I work with and foremost my wonderful family. I can't thank them enough for enduring lots of nights away from home while at work and uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm blessed to be here and I'm thankful. Great. All right. Well, thank you for coming in. I think we're somewhat familiar with you. But uh, let's, uh, let's go to the board and see if anybody wants to take one last shot. Mr. Mosier. Joe, what drew you to Hockington? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you've been fast-tracked, only sergeant for uh, 16 years, or you've been here 16 years. Yes. So uh, I, I'm thrilled to see you get this position. I know how much you care about the town, how hard you've worked for it. And you truly deserve it. And I believe you have the respect of your peers. You certainly have our respect. And um, just a quick comment, I, I guess in light of uh, some of the media attention that law enforcement has drawn, I have every confidence uh, that, that we're under good care here. So I'm, I'm congratulating you on your position. Thank you, Mr. Moser. Mr. Sister. Just wondering what kind of a nut job would lunge at you with a knife, even if you didn't have a knife. <laughs> <coughs> he was having a bad day. <laughs> I got worse, I bet. You got worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, you know, since I've been here, I've, I've heard everything that you've done for the department and the community uh, just in a, in a um, more recent history perspective. Uh, but then hearing the chief list off your accomplishments through your career is even more impressive. Um, glad you're glad you're on our team. Uh, glad to have you in the community, and I wish you all the best uh, and congratulations on this promotion. Thank you, Mr. Sestari. Mr. Catino. Congratulations. It's 16 years that you've, you've you've put in your you've put in definitely put in your time. I just want to. Are you going to continue doing the grant writing? Yeah, bringing in a million bucks is good. I want to make sure that that we continue that pipeline. And just you know, the uh, the town manager brings in. If that's no just, pressure, that's something that's. You know, there, there's always money out there, and it's great to, that you can find it for us. And, uh, and and the community policing with, you know, the SRO and all that, that's, it's just fabulous the way that that works in this town, that we don't, uh, we didn't have to go the militarization of our police force, that we actually uh, try and um, prevent crime be, uh, at the beginning. Absolutely. We're all proud of our relationship with the community, and, and these guys work every day to protect it. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Good. All right, well, the, we're going to seem like a bunch of pushovers here, but, uh, you know, uh, 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 everything they said, I agree with. It, it's great to see you here. I'm, I couldn't be happier uh, under any circumstance. I think the process was really well done, Chief. Congratulations to everybody that did this. Um, uh, I think we've really, um, uh, I think we've shown that we can really grow some great folks inside the police department and, um, and move them up, and, and so I'm, I'm very happy here tonight. So uh, I have no questions. Um, what I'd like to do would be, uh, since you and Jay came together, I guess I'd like to sort of vote the whole thing at the end. So um, if we can sure. maybe move on and, and, um, and hear about the next. 
potential plausible candidate. Well, uh, all right, Sergeant Porter is going to try to outdo him here. Sergeant John Porter joined the Hopkins Police Department in 19, 1992 after serving in the town of Upton for three years and has a combined 26 years of experience. Sergeant Porter is a graduate, graduate of Westfield State University where he holds a degree in criminal justice. Sergeant Porter has served as a patrol officer, detectives, SRO, and sergeant while at the HPD. In 1999, Sergeant Porter was tasked with becoming the town's first school resource officer. In that position, he developed and fostered relationships and guidelines that have allowed the program to grow and create alliance with the police and the school, parents, and students. This has only strengthened over time. In July of 2005, Sergeant Porter was promoted to detective. As detective, he worked tirelessly on a multinational homicide investigation, the Entwistle murder. While doing so, he saw, it saw him working with state, federal, and international police agencies to bring the defendant to justice and closure for the victim's family. In 2007, he was promoted to detective sergeant. As the e evening shift supervisor, Sergeant Porter has been in charge of scheduling for the department, an intricate revamping of outdated policy and guidelines for staffing and time off. Sergeant Porter is an officer in charge of planning and security for the town, including major events such as the Boston Marathon and recently the town's 300th uh, anniversary celebration. Sergeant Porter is assigned the duties of field training coordinator and oversees training and mentoring for all new recruits, recruits as well as training and guidance and support for field training officers. He most recently took a role as accreditation manor, excuse me, manager and is tasked with bringing the department in compliance with the rules, regulations, policies, and procedures so that we may achieve this accreditation. Sergeant Porter has completed mid-middle, excuse me, mid-management and strategic planning through Roger Williams and is the recipient of the FBI Leader Trilogy Award. He has been recognized throughout his career by law enforcement as well as his peers as having been MAD Officer of the Year four times, which is a record on HPP. <laughs> the Mascots President Award twice and the HP, uh, HPD Police Commendation three times and the Medal of Valor for disarming an extremely violent and armed suicidal man who, uh, who lit his home on fire and attacked responding officers with a knife. Sergeant Porter. Good evening, Boyd. Thank you for having me. Um, again, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the men and women of Hopkins and PD. I want to thank all of them. Uh, especially want to send a, a thank you out to Lieutenant Wallace, who many people do know that, uh, but when I was growing up, um, was with my mother, single mother, and um, Lieutenant Wallace met me at a very young age uh, when I was about eight years old, and uh, mentored me and took me under his wing and put up with me with his with a little radar gun and me on my bicycle. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's been an honor to follow him throughout my career and uh, and hopefully replace him and, and carry on the great things that he's done and, and meant to me. Uh, thank my mom, my wife, and my two wonderful children who are here tonight too, also and. I look forward to this new chapter in my career. Fabulous. Great story. Uh, Mr. Catino, question? Yeah, I, I, I just, I, I love that story. And that's, and that's just the, the, the kind of community that, that I love being um, so proud of, being proud of, is that, you know, the relationship that, that you had with the police officer. And then, you know, and then you going, becoming a, the, a, the first SRO and all of that and passing on, passing the batons on and, and to the great resource officer we have now. And, and to continue that uh, for, for my children and, and, and the rest, is a, it's, it's a great legacy. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. I have to admit, um, the school resource officer prob part of my career has probably been the most rewarding so far. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Mrs. Astari. You know, listening to the chief, um, you know, you guys, you guys have both had some incredible accomplishments over your careers. <clears throat> and this town is something uh, that's partially a product of your hard work. And it was mentioned earlier about kind of getting in there and doing the whole community policing and trying to prevent crime before it happens. But, you know, then we also hear, and, and I know that this story isn't exclusive to you, Sergeant Porter, but uh, despite the town, you know, now being looked at as, what was it, the second safest small town in America, which is quite an accomplishment, there's always those darker days that can happen too. And so we've got, we've got a, a police department full of individuals who are not only capable and very good at doing the community policing and preventing crime, 
But then when something does hit a national spotlight or even something that's smaller that's tragic, uh, you know, they're, they're entirely capable of handling that situation as well with all the professionalism anyone could ask for. So uh, it's, it's a testament to each of you individually. I know the chief is, is uh, relatively new to the department, but I, all I've seen is that same level of professionalism being carried on. And, um, you know, I know we don't get a lot of opportunity to say it other than situations like this. Uh, you know, we, we probably could, make, could and should make more efforts, but we're incredibly proud of you guys. So and thank you. Mr. Mosher. Uh, congratulations. <clears throat> I didn't realize you had that relationship uh, with Lieutenant Wallace. As the town grows, I think that's a good thing to hold on to, you know, try to maintain some of those small town relationships, even as we're not a small town. Uh, it's also great to see the support of other members of the department here for, for both of you. Um, the top of the best, really proud of you guys and absolutely uh, proud of you officers. Let me correct myself. And I uh, absolutely feel uh, safe and confident and appreciative uh, that you're here taking care of us in the community. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And another great process with a great outcome. And uh, I also, I, I couldn't be happier again. I think um, it is nice. I mean, what's nice, really nice, is that you all are very accomplished in your own right. But to reiterate, I mean, you do really reflect upon the entire department and, and, and then the other people we have in there who are building just as good resumes coming forward. And I think that's, that's really nice as a community to feel like you can really, um, uh, we've, we've just, we've got a terrific police department. And um, I, I think having you all out there every day really, really shows that to the public. So um, congratulations again. So Chief, any um, final thoughts here? No. Uh, okay. I, 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 You're done. You're ready to roll. See you in the... Uh, okay. It's evident. <laughs> so we have any further discussion on the board's part, or anyone want to make a motion? I'll move uh, a motion. Okay. Uh, move to appoint Joseph Bennett and Jay Porter the position of lieutenant at the Hopkinton Police Department. Second. Okay, we have a motion of a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Present not voting. That's unanimous.